Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on with the video, press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. US government documentation suggests that the Federal Aviation Administration aims to complete an environmental review of SpaceX's orbital Starship launch site no earlier than December 31st, 2021, precluding an orbital launch attempt this year. The FAA has posted the SpaceX Starship Super Heavy Programmatic Environmental Assessment project schedule on the Federal Infrastructure Permitting Dashboard and project website. The PEA start date of July 1st, 2021 denotes the date of determination to prepare a PEA. The FAA noted in an email to interested parties on November 23rd, 2020 that the agency was at the beginning stages of conducting an environmental review of SpaceX's Starship slash Super Heavy proposal and then opened a scoping period to identify issues for analysis in a draft environmental review. While SpaceX has worked with the FAA to prepare a draft environmental assessment since March 2021, the FAA did not decide to proceed with a PEA until sufficient information was received on the full scope of the proposed project, including vehicle landings for the Starship slash Super Heavy. Included on the permitting dashboard are dates for the special purpose law consultations. The FAA has been working with agencies on an ongoing basis since the 2014 SpaceX Environmental Impact Statement. Consultations started early in the planning process and helped to inform the determination to prepare a PEA. In light of the FAA taking until September 2021 to publish the draft of that environmental assessment, a major delay has been expected. For months, the latest development finally makes the delay official, confirming that even in the new best-case scenario, SpaceX will be unable to conduct a Starship's first orbital launch before January 1st, 2022. But while that unfortunate confirmation comes as little surprise, it's not all bad news. It's unclear how accurate the Federal Infrastructure Project's permitting dashboard actually is, but the information displayed on the website is specific and detailed enough for it to be deemed trustworthy. If correct, it states that the FAA aims to complete SpaceX's Orbital Starship EA by December 31st. To an extent, that internal estimate relies on the optimistic assumption that the FAA will rule in SpaceX's favor on the matter and issue either a finding of no significant impact, a FONSI. Of course, there's a chance that the portal's claims that the FAA will file the Starship's final orbital EA and conclude the EA process on the same day implies that the FAA has already ruled out the worst-case scenario, a no-action alternative finding which would be excellent news for SpaceX. In an optimal scenario, the 31st of December 2021 target means that the FAA could issue a FONSI or mitigated FONSI before the end of 2021. However, even if that's the case, a highly favorable environmental review is just one part of the process of securing an orbital Starship launch license, which will be the next gating factor for the SpaceX's rocket full-up launch debut. There is very little public insight into what that launch licensing process involves or how long it usually takes, but it's safe to say that it could take months for the FAA to move from issuing a favorable EA to approving even the most limited possible orbital Starship launch license. Still, there is some reason for optimism. If the FAA actually publishes a final and favorable environmental assessment by the end of 2021, less than four months after issuing the first draft EA for orbital Starship launches, it would be an exceptionally quick turnaround for such a large project and review. The assessment looks at the environmental impacts of SpaceX's initial mission profile and reviews debris recovery, local road closures in Boca Chica, Texas, where the firm's launch site is located, and other issues. Musk, who had been critical of FAA regulations in the past, seemed delighted by the news and took to Twitter to share his reaction. The hard work by FAA, US Fish and Wildlife and Texas Parks and Wildlife is much appreciated, as well as the strong local support from the Cameron County and Brownsville, South Padre area. The Starship program aims to develop vehicles for interplanetary travel of cargo and humans to the moon, Mars and beyond. 
To perfect the rockets, SpaceX plans to conduct several test launches over the next few years, all of which will require a permit or vehicle operator license from the FAA. Before granting SpaceX a permit, the FAA drafted a programmatic environmental assessment, which evaluates the potential environmental impacts of the launch activities conducted at the Starbase facility located in Boca Chica of Cameron County, Texas. However, the agency then extended the public comment period for the draft environmental review of the proposed program to November the 1st, which added a delay. The FAA received more than 12,000 written comments and 121 oral comments during two virtual public hearings that were held on October the 18th and the 20th. The last comment during the virtual hearing was Brownsville District 2 City Commissioner Jessica Tetro, who begged the agency to grant SpaceX the necessary permission to launch. I don't ask you, I beg you to give them that permit, said Tetro. There are people who don't understand and appreciate this project. Completion of the environmental review does not guarantee that SpaceX will be granted the necessary permits or licenses. Although Musk seemed appreciative of the FAA's timeline, the billionaire has not always been happy with the agency. In January, he bashed the FAA on Twitter for its rules regarding space launches that caused a delay in SpaceX launching its Starship Serial No. 9 rocket. Unlike its aircraft division, which is fine, the FAA space division has a fundamentally broken regulatory structure, Musk tweeted. Their rules are meant for a handful of expendable launches per year from a few government facilities. Under those rules, humanity will never get to Mars. The FAA has stayed quiet while Musk airs his frustrations online, but the division told DailyMail.com in January, we will continue working with SpaceX to resolve outstanding safety issues before we approve the next test flight. Although not stated by the FAA, the delay may be due to SpaceX's previous test flight of its Starship SN8 that traveled around seven miles into the air and then exploded on the launch pad in what Musk called an awesome test. The Starship spacecraft is expected to enter Mars's atmosphere at a speed of 7.5 kilometers per second and will be designed to withstand multiple entries. While no human being has set foot on Mars yet, the planet continues to intrigue scientists and researchers because of the possibility that life existed there once. SpaceX is planning its first cargo mission to the Red Planet by 2022, and by 2024, the company wants to fly four ships, including two cargo and two crewed ones, with this, we have come to the end of the video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.